Wow, things really have heated up in season three of Succession. Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel Lifestyle Critic. I hope you're having a brilliant day. So in this video we are going to be reviewing the third episode of season three of Succession and I have to say this was just such a brilliant episode, easily the best one so far of a brilliant season. I mean so much stuff happens, so many shocking moments in this episode and it's really really great to see the entire gang back in Waystar Royco which is just really, really cool to see the consequences of Kendall's actions, not only on himself, but also on the other characters as well. And also seeing Shiv take center stage was really, really impressive as well. And I cannot wait to break this episode down with you in this video review. So they started off this episode by continuing the seed that they've planted at the end of the second season and across this season so far, with the Kendall Roy character being on an absolute high with all of the destruction that he's causing to his family members and he's really naive into thinking that the press and the media are absolutely in love with him and just seeing him playing that Twitter good or Twitter bad comment game in the limo with all of his followers I thought was really really hilarious. Kendall is then planning to enter Waystar Royco and those moments were just so shocking, so unexpected and really exciting at the same time especially seeing the panic and the fear and just how everybody else in the building is reacting, which I thought was really, really epic. I didn't really appreciate how he was totally ruining Shiv's moment of presenting in front of the entire company in her new position as the president, which I have to say, for the little time that she did have a disruption-free speech, she did such a good job, and I cannot wait to see her really getting into the groove of this role. And if all of that wasn't enough, the episode ended in a really shocking way as well, with the FBI now infiltrating Waystar Royco as well, which was just so brilliant. And just Kendall's smile at the end of this episode was really, really chilling as well, which really did make the third episode of Succession Season 3 absolutely brilliant. So as always, the entire cast and characters definitely brought their A-game to this episode, which was just so brilliant. So let's go through them one by one. So first up, of course, we have to talk about the man of the hour, Jeremy Strong so good as the Kendall Roy character. I loved his character trajectory across this episode. I mean, even before the opening credits started, you could see that he's having this dinner with the press and he's just on such a high, he's really caring about his brand image while he totally destroys all of the other family members image and the Waystar Royco business as well. And then you really get to see this character having a bit of a breakdown even though he was still on a bit of a high thinking that the press and the media love him, but when Shiv put out the letter after he totally destroyed and ruined her speech, you could really see that this character is now becoming the character that he used to be in the first two seasons. He's a little bit weaker and this is the character that obviously was always pushed around by his father, so I think he's really going to come back fighting in the next few episodes, which I think is going to be absolutely brilliant. Next up we have Brian Cox, who was so good as well, as always as a Logan Roy character, really old school with how he operates, especially when he went to talk to somebody in the government. And like this whole season has been for this character, you really can feel the walls really, really closing in on him. We didn't see that much from Kieran Culkin in this episode as the Roman character, but as always, he was definitely bringing the laughs this episode as well. And also the Jerry character is so well placed as the CEO of Waystar Royco, and I absolutely love the fact that she was telling Logan, you know, these are the type of people that you can't say F off to at the end of this episode, so I feel like Jerry is really, really good. Then we have to talk about Sarah Snook, who was also so good as Shiv. I'm really loving the fact that she is really stepping into the presidential role. She was just so brilliant in this episode and really was an absolute boss. I loved how in the beginning of the episode, she was trying to calm down with the Kendall character and really tried to dissuade him from doing all of the craziness that he is doing. And then by the end of it, she was even giving speeches and then controlling the situation really, really well. She was even firm to her father, really questioning him about what went on with the senior people in the business. And then also being really loyal and being a great leader in this business, which I think is really, really wicked. We also had Matthew McFadden returning as the Tom character, offering himself as a new blood sacrifice to the Logan character if he wants to do that. I wonder if he ever will take him up on the offer. In the future, and of course, we have the brilliant Nicholas Braun coming back as the Greg character. And I absolutely loved all of the sequences where he was thinking that the Kendall character is giving him a really expensive watch for free. But as we know, there's nothing free in this one. And just seeing him having all of those interactions 
with everybody was really, really wicked and safe from a cast and character's point of view. Episode three of season three definitely did not disappoint. <laughs> So overall, I was really, really impressed with this episode. It definitely is back to its epic levels back in the Waystar Royco building. I'm absolutely loving seeing people back in this office. It's just so iconic, so awesome. And there were just so many shocking, emotional and truly edge of your seat moments in this episode. Definitely one of the best ones. And I already cannot wait for the next episode, which I'm sure will be equally brilliant. But until then, I'd love to hear what you thought of this episode. So please let me know in the comment section below. Otherwise, I look forward to seeing you in my next video.